Weekend Modder here with a quick uh, tidbit video. This particular console is that of Brandon E. of Wisconsin. Brandon sent in this console for RGH service. And uh, silly me, I didn't actually check out the manufacture date on the rear of the console. Turns out this one is later than that 6 of 2014 date, uh, which makes it, sadly, a Winchester. So just for Brandon here, I'm just going to show a quick power up. Uh, the one thing that I am able to do in these consoles is I go ahead and do the LEDs. Um, because you end up paying for your own return shipping, so basically what happens is he prepaid uh, $75. So I'm going to refund all of it except for $15. That $15 will be paid uh, to basically ship it back home to him. So uh, for his $15, he basically got LEDs out of the deal because I'm not able to mod this console because it is a Winchester motherboard. So this picture is, uh, again, I, I didn't double check and do the work first. I wire up the entire NAND setup and the chip setup before I ever even install the post-fix adapter. So I had already fully installed the chip when I flipped it over and found uh, the real reason for this uh, video, which is a neat little recognition that this is a Winchester console based on this resistor right here. So on the back side, uh, under the larger hole uh, near the X clamps here, if you zoom in real close on, on a normal Corona install, the top side where this top side point is, is where we would normally solder the D wire to. But this resistor, I, I mean, I've done, I've got a really good sample size of a few hundred, uh, over a thousand consoles that I've been into, several hundred Coronas. And I've never once seen that resistor on a Corona console. So I can state with pretty high confidence, and, and I'd like to hear some feedback. Maybe people have info in the comments. Um, is that consistent with everybody's understanding? Can you, you say that if this resistor is present, then 100% it's a Winchester? I think that that's probably true. Is that if this resistor is there, then this is definitely a Winchester which is doubly confirmed by removing the heatsink. But if we could get really good data that that resistor confirms it, then we'd never have to take the heatsink off and then put fresh thermal paste down and stuff. So anyway, um, bad news for Brandon, uh, but uh, a good learning lesson for the rest of us. Thanks.